Hey there, my theme for June is inspired by The Secret Garden, which is a novel by Frances Hodgson Burnett. It is one of her most popular novels and a classic of English children's literature. Several stage and film adaptations have been made, but my favorite one is the 1993 one. And my theme this month is based off different animals that appear in this movie. Before going into detail about the storyline, I wanted to tell you a little bit about why my June theme is late. I had not seen my sister since September 2019, and she decided to come last minute, and so of course, I have been spending every waking moment with her. The highlight of her visit here has been spending time outdoors. The beach and then the lagoon have been the perfect setting to not only relax and spend time together, but also to enjoy the beauty of creation, paint, and enjoy each other's company to the most. So of course, I would get behind with my videos and posts. And this month will be particularly hectic because the mid-tier setup has to be uploaded before July. But that's a topic for another video. For now, let me tell you about this setup. This is the last time I set a theme on this black paper notebook. And it is kind of bittersweet, because although I truly enjoy the stark contrast that the black background provides, I really miss the endless possibilities that the white paper can accommodate, like my beloved inks. So to say goodbye to this notebook, I chose wash, which I consider to be the best to use on dark paper. Even when using it takes a long time, it is really worthwhile. Coupled with botanical washi tape, I really love how it all turned out. Somehow, animals, and especially plants, seem to pop up from the black with a rustic feeling that I love, and I hope that you enjoy it too. On to the book of the Secret Garden. Based in England, it tells the story of Mary Lennox, a little girl who arrived from India after losing her parents to a cholera outbreak. She arrives in Misselthwaite Manor in Yorkshire to be under the tutorship of her uncle. Used to be intended to by servants and ignored by her parents, Mary has a hard time opening up to any other human. But she immediately connects with a little robin who shows her the entrance to a secret garden. The garden is guarded by a locked door, but she finds the key and opens more than just the garden. She discovers a new passion for growing things and spending time with nature. And as she starts making friends both with humans and animals, she starts to become the best version of herself. There's of course a twist in the story which I won't talk about for the benefit of those who have not read the book or watched the movie. I definitely recommend reading the book first and then watching the movie, which might not be strictly logical to the book but the scenery and the incredible cast make of it all a delight to watch. The music is also perfect. The soundtrack is still one of my favorites to listen to while I paint. What I love best of this story is the many timeless lessons that both children and adults can learn, like compassion for both humans and living creatures, caring for animals and plants, making friends and being open to new experiences. We live in such a hectic world that it's become harder and harder to pause and just take in the beauty that surrounds us. Now that I've been enjoying the beach a lot more, I have been talking about this on my Instagram. I have experienced the importance of making time to disconnect, to leave the gadgets behind and just dive into nature. After all, this beautiful planet is always there for us. We just need to pause and look, because every little corner is filled with beauty. And now, as usual, I will leave you with background music as I finish setting the secret garden of my own.
Here's the final flip through of this enchanting theme that closes the first chapter of this year. I really loved painting the little animals, especially that crow who stole the show. I can't believe that I will soon be saying goodbye to this notebook. It was a blast, a truly enjoyable experience, and I'm glad I gave it a go. And yet, I'm really looking forward to the next half where I will go back to white paper. I've already started putting it together and can't wait to show you. I hope you like this last theme on black. I really appreciate all the support and comments. So as usual, thank you so much for watching.